Welcome to Daytime Ottawa. We're going to dive right in with our first guest because he makes his triumphant return to the city he was born in, his hometown of Ottawa. He'll be headlining the Shankman Art Center New Year's Eve comedy night. His name is Andrew Chapman. Before I speak to him, let, let, let's, let's go to a clip of what you can expect. Have a look at this. <laughs> let's say you know you're in a committed relationship, right? Serious relationship. You get the dog. And you know what this dog is for. It's a test baby. That's what it is. A test baby. You gotta feed it. You gotta dress it up in cute clothes. You gotta tie it to a pole every time you go to a store. It's a test baby. If you're in a relationship and you've got a cat, that is not a test baby. Well, our next guest, Andrew Chapman, he needed a test baby because, well, he's he's a new dad. Andrew, welcome to the show and congratulations. And so, how how old is your little one? Uh, eleven months. Eleven months. A lot of material there already, yeah. I bet. That's pretty much why I had the kid. I needed new material, <laughs> and I thought, what better way than to make a tiny human? Andrew, let's talk about uh, growing up in Ottawa. Where, whereabouts should you grow up here in the Ottawa region? I grew up in uh, Dunrobin, uh, which uh, West Carleton High School, all that kind of stuff. And that's actually when I started doing stand-up, was in high school. Yeah, what, what inspired you? Uh, did, was, there, was there somebody that you sort of looked up to at school or like a t or, or was it, you know, did you grow up in comedy? I grew up the youngest of five. Okay. In the middle of, you know, what some would say, nowhere. <laughs> so you needed to do something. And, uh, and I don't know. I, I mean, my, we just watched comedy a lot. It was a great escape. And uh, I was the right age of when Jerry Seinfeld and the show Seinfeld was kind of ending and got into that and and then just figured, well, I'll go do this. Because when you're the youngest of five, you end up doing a lot of the same things your older brothers and sisters did. Right. You know, you even have their own clothes. Right. <laughs> so I figured I'm going to go this way. What's the exact opposite way? And uh, comedy was the way. Well, you mentioned it being a great escape, and during difficult times, uh, that's what we look for, right? And we've been going through a difficult time. We could certainly use some laughs. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But how has it affected the industry and, and you individually um, through the pandemic, through the last 20 months? Oh, yeah, it's been an amazing thing. When this thing first started, uh, me and the missus, we kind of just uprooted everything. Because we were living in Toronto at the time, and then when everything stopped, and we never really knew when they were going to start up again, we uh, we knew the kiddo was coming, so we went towards London, Ontario, where my in-laws are, and I honestly didn't know if I was ever going to do it again. And then really? slowly, little by little, these shows, much like what we're doing right now, started to happen, and then when things opened up recently, oh, to get back on an actual stage and put a real microphone in your hand... Uh, it's it's almost indescribable. It's fantastic. Uh, you must be excited to be returning to your hometown. What's what's it going to be like? And have you been following things that are happening here in Ottawa? Will you be implementing any of that into your comedy? I'll try. I I don't know. I haven't. I, is there something I should uh, please take? I'll take suggestions. Well, you can have uh, a look at the LRT. Amazing. Um, you know that's been an ongoing oh, joke. Please. I want people to be in a good mood, Derek. <laughs> I want people to be in a good mood. Um, I played the Shankman uh, a few times, and so to to play it again uh, is going to be great because that that theater and soft seat theaters. Are one of the best venues to play, and and it's always a good time. So I'm very much looking forward to that. How would you describe your comedy? What what themes do you touch on? Well, it's a funny thing. Before everything all stopped, you know, I was relatively still a single guy. So I used to talk about dating and how hard it is to meet the one. And oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I'm not really a man. What does that even mean? <laughs> and now, 20 months later, I got a wife. I got a kid. I own my own car. Yeah, I'm totally different thing. So uh, for me, it's going to be that POV of still, you know, 
a boy trapped in a man's body kind of a thing <laughs> and uh, how I've navigated the last 20 months of fatherhood. You've gone through a lot in the last 20 months, obviously. Uh, let's talk about some of the other talent joining you. Yeah, uh, we got Chris Locke and hosting the show is Jackie Pirico, who I know from Toronto. I, I spent many years in Toronto doing the clubs there and and had the great fortune to work with them a few times at Comedy Bar. And let me tell you, it is very hard to please everybody. Mm -hmm. But with the three of us, I think we may be able to do it. It's, yeah, you're you're, you're going to get a lot of comedy. You're going you're gonna to be able to cover it. So are, are, you, are you out on, on tour now? Like, obviously, you have a young one at home. Are, are you, are you full-time comedy? Uh, are, are you splitting two careers? What, what does it look like for you right now? Yeah, right now we're, we're splitting because, because uh, as you know, once you find out you got a kid, you got to do whatever you can to take care of that kid. So I have a job that allows me to work from home, which is amazing, and also to go out at nights. Uh, I didn't know there was quite the comedy scene in London, Ontario, but there is, and I've been going out and testing the material and kind of trying to remember the old stuff and, and that kind of thing. And it's, it's uh, yeah, it's almost like starting over, which is kind of cool. Yeah, no kidding. And uh, obviously, you, you said, you know, you, I, I think you automatically have new material with a young one there. Um, parenthood will be a big part, I'm sure, of, of everything you, you discuss going forward. Andrew, we're so excited to have you back in Ottawa, and, uh, and I can't wait to see you. Um, I'll, I'll share the details with everyone. Take care of yourself, and, and we'll see you on, on New Year's Eve. Yeah, great to see you. Thanks very much. Again, everybody, that's at the Shankman Arts Center. That is the Shankman Arts Center New Year's Eve comedy night. You can head to shankmanarts.ca to get your tickets, find out more information. The tickets will go fast, so make sure you get your tickets ahead of time as soon as possible. Coming up after the break, we'll tell you why there's such a great need for blood donations in the month of December. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>